What is happening everybody? My name is Glyscore101 and welcome back to Glyscore Plays Ratchet and Clank 2015 16. Shit, I still haven't googled that. It's been how many weeks since I started this Let's Play? Still haven't googled when this game freaking came out. Alright, so we're back. We just... Did we crash land on this planet? Yeah. Been a while. I've been recorded a bunch of injustice. Ratchet and Clan kind of got left in the whims, but now I've actually finished recording injustice. But this will probably have come out before the injustice finale, so yeah, it'll be all Ratchet and Clan for a bit until I figure out what the fuck I'm replacing injustice with. I don't have plans. I don't. I don't. I don't think grenades. Always grenade. Already, the combat in this game, there's a lot of fun weapons. Like, it's got the standard ones, but it, like, the first weapon it gave you was a grenade glove, which is pretty great. And I love just hitting people with a wrench. Oh, shit. Oh, I am dying quickly. Come on, I don't want to die here. Oh, we're at a grenade glove. Um, combustor. I can't remember which one this is. Ah, uh, this is what I was looking for. Alright, that'll get rid of them. And then we switch back. Ah, uh, the frigging combustor, that's just my launchers. There we go, boom. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I need more health. Like, aggressively need health. Desperately seeking health. He just fucking kicked me in the face, like, oh, what are you doing? You coming to get me? Fuck you. Oh, look who's back. Back again. Oh, dog. Fucking dogs. Nimble dodges. Ratchet be nimble, ratchet be quick. Right, well that was easy. Easy enough. Didn't have to die that last time. I was just trying to wrench the helicopter, which was all round not a great idea. It's weird that we have two different kinds of grenade launchers already. I suppose I did buy the second one, didn't I? Man! <laughs> this, this is hard, this is the Dark Souls of Ratchet and Clank. I fucking love that, um... It's kind of a meme at this point, just making fun of dumb game journalists that keep comparing shit to Dark Souls just because you can die. There was, uh, I just saw, like, the headline of the article, but it was already so dumb, it was just nine games that are the Dark Souls of their genre. And it's like, fuck off. Alright, fusion grenade. Boop, 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 boom. I'm surprised there aren't more games like Ratchet and Clank, honestly. Like, Call of Duty, that kind of stuff, it's just basically a big shooter, explosion, death, damn it, I need to pay attention. <laughs> death fueled massacre combined with what Mario and Sonic was doing. 
How is that not the biggest thing on the fucking planet? Like, that sounds like it should be a lot bigger of a thing and should have a lot more rip-offs than it does. Shit. Shit. <laughs> How have I gotten so bad at this game? I swear, I used to be good at these. I played so many Ratchet and Clank games. Ugh. Truly is the Dark Souls. Alright, keep the grenade, that's what we want. Those dogs didn't get caught up in the blast like I hoped, so let's kill those. You're about to die. There we go, beautiful. Alright, now let's just not fuck up and kill these guys proper. These guys are actually taking their sponging a lot more than I expected. There we go. They took like five, uh, five, ten hits each. I expected them to be down in like three. Suppose I should probably upgrade my weapons. There is like a whole upgrade mechanic I've been ignoring. Oh, that just reassigns it. How do I upgrade? Can I upgrade my wrench? I don't know, we'll figure something out. Are you at Nell's place yet? Almost there. There has to be a shop nearby. Usually it's right when you get to a planet there's a shop. Like, I've been dying a lot playing Crash Bandicoot. It's mostly just because I'm bad, though. Like, I can admit, no, if I actually took my time and was patient. Dark Souls is hard because you're meant to die. That's the point. That's why the tagline is, prepare to die. Crash Bandicoot is just one of those platformers where you just have to be patient. And yeah, you're going to have a few deaths, but they're not meant to be significant death. It's meant to be like, oh, I died, go back a bit. Because that's how video games work, journalists. That's a lot of dogs. It's a lot of dumb dogs. Damn it. Back to combustors. And you're down. Holy cow indeed. Look at this. They have my blaster on top. Bongoid with a stick. Oh, Sparrow the space moon. Ultra edition of Intransigent, Fall of Blar. <clears throat> that one comes with exclusive content if you pre-order through Gadgetron. I take it you're the one Cora called. Ah, uh, it's this fucking guy. I remember him. You must be Big Al. It is nice to meet you. He's like he was. He's pro other than Ratchet and Clank and Captain Quark. He's probably the character I most remember from Ratchet and Clank, just design-wise, because it's just it's Fat Ratchet. <laughs> And also, he gives you a cool upgrade, which I assume he's giving us now. Reattaching the sister board, connecting the data port, and presto! Try it out! Commander, yeah! Helicopter! Looking good, pal. Getting back to the Hall of Heroes is easy. 
This is where Re uh, Clank actually starts doing shit. Helicopter jump. Mm. Yeah, let's get a flamethrower. Flamethrowers are fun. Away. Maybe there's like a smaller box I'm meant to glide from. It's saying I want. Oh. I'm stupid. I figured it was like jump R1, but now it's just straight R1. Good job. This is a game meant for children, it's the last episode pointed out. We're going up. Want the world to know. Maybe let it show. So satisfying, just slamming into boxes. Fly. Okay, this is fun. I'm having fun. I'm having a good time with this flamethrower. Damn, that flamethrower does work. Alright. There are pops! This is like the next incarnation of Link. I have to break all the pots. Is that jump offable? Nope, that's death. Straight death. Honestly, it's been so long since I played Ratchet and Clank, I can't remember if this is how the level looked or not. I can't tell how much of this is the first game again and the f how much of it is new. Because I know this game is a weird hybrid of remaster and reboot. So like, uh, Crash Bandicoot, I've played it a fair bit, shit, <laughs> I've played it a fair bit since, um, like, the first time I played it, so I know kind of what the levels are still, but, uh, Ratchet and Clank, I think I only played them all once or twice back in the day, so I have no idea what the levels actually looked like. I just have memories of each of them. Like meeting that guy, and I think if this is the same level, then there's a train segment where you're not like on the train or anything, you're just using the helicopter jump in a train yard. So we'll see if that happens. Or maybe I'm remembering everything wrong and that never happened, and it was just a fever dream when I was on crack. I don't know. Level up! Should probably start paying attention to my level ups. Fucking dogs! So many fucking dogs. Hey, I leveled up. Good job, me. I'm so great. I'm so great at the video game. Look at how great I am. I'm so great at this Dark Soulsian-esque game. Man, if I ever do play Dark Souls, my death count is gonna be in the millions. Like, on... while... doing... Let's Play. Yes. Cause I've beaten, um... And I think I've fully beaten the first one. I've beaten the second, and I've beaten the third, and Bloodborne. But it is a whole different experience talking while doing it. Like, I don't know how TFS did it drunk while talking. <laughs> then again, I suppose the drunk savant thing they had did have some... Oh look, it's the train yard! Called it! Aha! I'm so smart, I can remember my childhood. 
I didn't block it out. I suppose, like, there is the advantage of, like, with TFS, they don't always have to be talking. There's other people in the group to pick up the slack. Like, in Dark Souls 3, when Grant bet most of the bosses, it was usually because Karen and Lanny were shooting the shit about something random next to them. But, with me doing this, it is just me, and that is... Whew. When I, when I ever do actually record with someone, I'm probably going to be a whole different dynamic. I'm curious to see how that's going to go. Not having to just be me talking about talking. So that's kind of what I'm doing now. I'm talking about talking. <laughs> Good job, me. I know English. That's what the people want to hear from YouTube. How hard YouTube is. It's not hard, it's just like a skill like anything else. Where you can be good at it, you can be bad at it. You can learn it, you can do all kinds of things. I like to think I have... Fuck, there were so many explosives in that. I like to think that I have some form of natural talent of just talking. Because <laughs> there's a lot of people who can't just... Even when I first started the YouTube videos that are lost to time now, I wasn't doing nothing. There was always something going on. So, I'm great. Look at how great I am. YouTube. Word up. Is there anything up here? No, I don't think there is. I can't think- I think there's actually an invisible wall, so that's fun. I freaking love this helicopter thing, by the way. It's ridiculous and stupid and fun. Of course, that one has no explosives in it. The one I'm being more careful with. Stupid game. Hey, look, a gold bolt. Man, did Lego rip off Ratchet and Clank? With the gold brick thing? Son of a bitch, Lego. You owe Ratchet and Clank some royalties. I do need to play Lego Dimensions, because it looks like so much fun, but also I don't want to invest hundreds of dollars in a Toys to Life game, due to the fact it'll, like, consume my entire life. They'll buy so many damn Lego figures. I don't like the whole Lego Dimensions thing of, yeah, you gotta buy 15 million toys to get the whole experience. It seems like they're just specifically targeting, hey completionists, you're gonna have to spend a grand on this fucking game. But at the same time, I understand it, and it is kinda cool. Like, Little kids will love it, like, they'll eat that shit up, the fact that they have a toy that they can play with in a game. And also I forgot this whole mechanic, which button do I press? Circle, alright. <laughs> but, for people that are like, can google shit, and they're like, oh, there's like a good half a game that I'm not gonna be able to play unless I spend so, spend a lot of money buying all this shit I don't need. Alright, I just saw Glowy, so I was like, probably have to shoot them. Come on, die. Die, die, die. I know you did go on the train in the first game, but I think this is more than what happened. I don't remember taking down all those signs and shit. So where am I meant to go now? Can I get up there? It doesn't look like I can. Wait. Ah. Oh. Shit. 
Oh no! Fuck! <laughs> ah, perfect. Perfect. But speaking of perfections, this episode is perfectly wrapping up right now. We are out of time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, all that fun jazz. And I'll see you guys next time on Glasgow Plays Ratchet and Clank. Bye bye. Nailed that outro. Seamless transition. Whoa.